Hi everyone. So I wanted to uh, to really quickly do a review on the three normal forms, the three main normal forms, um, so we're completely clear on how that works. Um, hopefully I can, I can clear that up for, for a lot of you guys. If not, please let me know. So we'll start with, um, with first normal form. And of course the rules of, of first normal form according to the text are that there are no repeating groups and that all data, I'm sorry, um, that there are no repeating groups uh, and I believe it says in there somewhere that, uh, that um, all um, all data values are atomic. Let me see what the, the definition of 181 says. A relation that has uh, has a primary key in which there's no repeating groups. Okay, so so bo both of those are true. Uh, no repeating groups and has a primary key. There are also some additional items that I'm going to point out that are not men mentioned in the text that I'd, I'd really like for you to keep in mind as you uh, work into doing some database development. So take a look if you would at uh, figure 4-25 four four on page 180. <clears throat> so this is the table that they have. Um, it's a table called invoice and it has uh, an order ID and a product ID as the primary keys which of course is a composite primary key. And uh, you'll notice it has two, two orders or two order IDs and um, uh, e each of those contain a number of items. Um, uh, the first order contains three different uh, three different products and a different quantity, I'm sorry, uh, or is a different quantity of each product and same for the second order. Now of course since you have these blank lines in here um, you have uh, repeating groups with without the supporting data. So now according to the text all we need to do to to reach first normal form is to uh, fill in those those uh, missing fields with the uh, the appropriate data. So we just drop down the uh, 1008 where necessary and the 1007 and the applicable dates, um, the customer ID and the customer name, um, so on and so forth. Um, and now according to figure 4-26 that is in first normal form. And, and I'll agree with that. that. That is indeed in first normal form. Um, however, there are a couple of other details that I'd like to point out that, uh, that are not really covered very well in the text. So let's consider for a moment the, the, customer, uh, the customer data information. So it has customer ID, customer name, customer address. So if, if we had a customer table that had customer ID and customer name, and then it had um, three attributes that were called location one, location two, and location three. One of the additional um, factors of first normal form is that you have no repeating columns or no repeating attributes. So these, in effect, are repeating columns because it's effectively the same data. It's just telling you the location of, of each store. So what we've done to eliminate those repeating uh, attributes is to create three new tables, one called customer that only contains the customer ID and the customer name, and of course customer ID is the primary key, and then location with location ID and location city, and location being the primary key, and then we have uh, customer location or, or C-U-S-T-L-O-C, which is a third table that has a, a customer ID and a location ID together in one table. So what we've done here is eliminate those repeating attributes and uh, that is that's actually a really important step in first normal form. So, uh, so please pay attention to that, but at any rate, according to the text and on page 4-2 26, we are in first normal form. So let's take a look also at second normal form, if I can get there. So the rules of second normal form, let me find that in the 
text on page uh, 182. It says second normal form is uh, is uh, a relation that is in first normal form, which every non-key attribute is fully functionally dependent on the primary key. So what they've done is made that sound far more complicated than it really needs to be. So the all non-attribute uh, all non-key attributes are fully functionally dependent on the primary key. What that means is is that all non-key attributes are dependent on all parts of the primary key. So let, let's take a look at the resulting first normal form table, normal form table that we had, um, and we have uh, order ID. Let's let's look at the um, the diagram that's. Uh, part of the diagram is on uh, page 4-27. Uh, this is, I'm sorry, uh, page 182, uh, figure 4-27. So um, you'll see that we have order ID, order date, um, all these attributes, and we have, again, two primary keys, or a composite primary key, which is order date and product, I'm sorry, order ID and product ID. So, um, we need to make sure, of course, it's first normal form, we know that already, all non-key non -key attributes are dependent on all parts of the primary key. So we're obviously going to have to split this up into new tables to make that, uh, to make that happen. So we have um, a couple of items that are uh, fully dependent on a primary key. The order ID and product ID, the only uh, remaining attribute or the only attribute that is fully dependent on both of those product IDs or the composite pro product uh, uh, product ID is um, uh, the order quantity. I'm sorry, the primary key is order quantity. So that will become uh, a table in itself called order line and it will have again a composite primary key consisting of order ID and product ID and the only remaining attribute is order quantity. Now look also at the product ID. Now notice what they're talking about here. So the transitive dependency effectively this means that there is a non-key attribute that uh, that is dependent on some other non-key attribute. So we'll see that uh, customer name and customer address are dependent uh, on customer ID rather than order ID or product ID. So this is a transitive dependency on a non-key attribute. Now, now notice at this time that customer ID is not uh, is not a primary key. So so we'll, we'll have to get rid of that in order to reach our second normal form. <clears throat> so, uh, I'm sorry, that, that, that's going to come when we reach uh, third normal form. So right now we want to get rid of the partial the partial dependencies of just, just to make sure that all non-key attributes are dependent and on the entire primary key. So we'll notice that order ID has order date, customer ID, customer name, and, and customer address. So those are uh, those are items that are uh, all partially dependent on um, order ID and likewise the product description, product finish, and uh, product standard price are all partially dependent on um, product ID which Actually, all of these are com are fully dependent on product ID, but you'll notice that these are identified as being partially dependent because in this entire table, the entire primary key is a composite key of order ID and product ID. So these these three items are only dependent on the product ID portion of that composite uh, pr um, primary key, and these attributes um, for the um, the order information are partially dependent on only the order ID of the composite primary key. So in order to fix that, 
uh, again, we are going to split this up into three tables. Order line um, will contain the three attributes that are uh, uh, fully dependent, um, and that will contain the order ID and primary um, product ID as the composite primary key, and then the ordered quantity will be the only remaining attribute. And then the product ID will contain those partially dependent uh, attributes, which is um, product description, product finish, and product standard price. And then the only um, attributes remaining are order ID, order date, customer ID, customer name, and customer address. So now you'll, you'll notice that since, uh, since we've gotten rid of the partial dependencies, so all of these attributes are uh, fully dependent on the remaining primary key. So, but, but you'll notice that, that there is still a transitive dependency in our customer order table. So even though our customer order table is still in second normal form, we still have a transitive dependency. But uh, before we get into that third normal form, let's, let's take a look at um, these remaining, uh, or the tables that we created. So this is the order line table, again with the composite primary keys of order ID, product ID, and ordered quantity. And then we have the product uh, table, <coughs> which is going to um, it's going to have the product ID as the primary key, and then the, the three remaining attributes, and then the customer order, which is in second normal form. Um, even though it has a transitive dependency. So again, for to reach second normal form, uh, the table must be in first normal form, and all non-key attributes are dependent on all parts of the primary key, not, not part of the composite key. And of course, um, each field has a unique name and has a primary key. So let's look at that real quick. Um, order ID, product ID, order quantity. Um, yep, they seem to have unique names. Now you'll notice that, uh, that there are some duplicate names, but the, these are um, shared primary keys that uh, that are effectively going to be um, foreign keys in, in these uh, in order line. Um, order, order ID and product ID are going to be foreign keys from these other two tables that's going to form that composite primary key. Okay, so I think I think we've got all the rules covered for second normal form. So let's take a look at third normal form. And in order to reach third normal form, we must first have second normal form and there are no transitive dependencies. This means that uh, um, that the attributes are not dependent on any other non-key attributes. So now let's let's take a look at that. In the second normal form, uh, let's see right here. So you'll see that customer name and customer address are dependent on customer ID rather than order ID. And and again, order I'm sorry, customer ID is a um, is a non-key attribute. So, so in order to fix that, we take our second normal form table, which has um, order ID, order date, customer ID, customer name, and customer address, and we split that up into two new tables that contain order ID, order date, and customer ID is, is going to be simply a foreign key um, from the primary key of order ID in our customer table. So we have um, an order table which is in second normal form and it has no transitive dependencies any longer because uh, order date and this customer ID which now you'll, you'll notice that it's underlined that that should actually be a dashed underline but that is, that is a uh, foreign key from the customer table um, and cust the customer ID is the primary key 
for that table and then you have the customer name now let's uh, we've got some duplicates here so let's get rid of these delete that guy and then delete that guy okay all right so so we've got the the two order IDs and then we've got the two customers that were uh, that were listed in the in the initial table and both of these are in third normal form because again there are no uh, no transitive dependencies or all non key attributes are dependent entirely on the primary key so I hope that uh, that clears up any questions there may have been with normalization between first normal form, second normal form, and third normal form. Uh, if not, please let me know. Um, it, I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna know if, if this answered in, uh, answered any questions or did not answer any questions unless you let me know. All right. Thanks a lot.